Hey, what's up everyone? This is Power Owner and today we're gonna be taking a look at the best bows in the game. And well, as of today, there are over 27 bows in the game and well, we're gonna be taking a look at only the best of the best. The price range is gonna be from 170,000 up to 25 million coins, which means if you're an early or late game player, this video will be for you. Now before we actually start this video, about 25% of you guys are subscribed to the channel, which means 75% of you aren't. And if every single one of you guys subscribed, we would hit 50,000 subscribers. So if you could subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. But anyways, let's get today's video started and this is gonna be pretty interesting because, well, with the recent update, we did get a couple of new bows, which are actually here on the list. Anyways, we're gonna start out with the early game players and, well, here the price range is from 170,000 up to 450,000. But the very first bow, which I highly recommend to every single one of you guys, is a magma bow now this bow is only 170,000 coins and this bow does have 100 damage and 100 strength which is just simply amazing for anybody that's starting out and needs a good bow to begin with but moving on from the list we have an explosive bow and now this bow is pretty great for honestly grinding out even slayers because the explosion effect is pretty nice now this bow does cost two times more, which means it's about 445,000, but you're gonna be getting 100 damage and 20 strength. And yes, this means that it's actually a little bit weaker than the magma bow, but the ability makes up for it. But now the next bow, which we're about to show, costs only 5,000 more, and well, um, it's more than two times better. So let me show you guys the bow. This is the Venom's Touch. Now the bow that I'm holding right now is actually more a mid-game weapon because this is an upgraded version of the Venom's Touch. Now indeed the first tier of this bow does go for about 450,000 coins. Right now it looks like it's about 460,000 coins. But as you guys can see this bow does damage 200 and strength 100 which is outstanding and well the tier 2 we're gonna talk about that in a second but the only downside about this bow is that there is no aiming enchant that's right some of the new bows that came out well uh yeah you cannot have an aiming enchant and that is extremely crucial in high pixel skyblock to have aiming on your bows but nevertheless this bow is amazing now indeed this bow is actually amazing to actually turn it into a mid game weapon because if you do get it into tier 2 well it's going to be costing you about 1.2 million coins and well as you guys can see the damage is now 300 and straight 180 which is a lot and uh, yet again uh, no aiming on this bow which is unfortunate but this bow is pretty much like a upgraded version of a hurricane bow and honestly I love this bow and I was actually using this bow to grind out tarantula slayers and it works out amazing even without aiming but moving on on the list we have the runin's bow and this is a pretty legendary bow because i'm pretty sure everybody has this bow or has at least used it once and well this bow is perfect for slayers as well and it does cost about 600,000 coins now this bow does come with 150 damage and 50 strength which is amazing and obviously you can make it better with hot potato books and fuming potato books but the reason why I love this bow is because well once you shoot the arrows well it actually goes through multiple enemies at once which obviously makes this bow perfect for slayers but uh, I think everybody already knows enough about this bow so let's move on to the next one but definitely this one is a must have. Now the next bow is actually 5 million coins but uh, there's a downside to it. Other than it costing 5 million coins which is definitely quite a bit for bows because as you guys saw all the bows pretty much are less than 1 million coins. Well this one is definitely quite a bit. But another downside with this bow is that you actually are required to have catacombs level 28. Now as you guys can see, well my chat is being spammed that you need to be level 28 catacombs to use it, which is very unfortunate. But still, this bow is freaking amazing. I mean, we just did 76,000 damage as you guys saw. Bam, that was 14,000. And uh, definitely it is a great bow, but uh, yes, indeed, you need catacombs level 28. But if you do have that, well, um... 
yeah, you're gonna be doing quite a bit of damage. As you guys can see, the damage alone is 300 on this bow, and it deals 100% extra damage on undead monsters, which is OP. Anyways, now that we have talked about the mid-game bows, it's time to move on to the late-game bows, and we do have very honorable mention towards the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned till the end. Anyways, here we are, and as you guys can see, it is a singular bone right there, and it, it is actually literally a bone. Now the bow, which isn't actually a bow that we're talking about, is the Bonerang. Right, that sounded a little bit wrong, but anyways, Bonemerang is right here. As you guys can see, it costs 25 million coins, but it is extremely OP. And well, as you guys can see, the damage is 320 and strength is 130, which means that this is a perfect bow in the game, right? Uh, and especially if you're playing an archer class or whatever class, I think this is still very OP in dungeons nevertheless. Now this is definitely one of the best weapons out of all of them and well you can actually use four of them at once which means if you put them in your inventory one by one you can just go ahead and just click them through and bam you're gonna be dealing insane amount of damage. But as I mentioned there is actually one more bow that definitely needs a mention and that is the soul's rebound. Now this one I guess could be classified as a mid game bow and well unfortunately with this bow as well you're not able to put aiming on it which is a big downside but this bow is amazing if you're grinding out monsters that have insane amount of health and this might be i don't know some certain bosses and well what you actually want to do with this bow is that you want to use other weapons alongside that so you shoot them and then you start using all kinds of weapons to do a lot of damage and well towards the end of it well, you're going to be dealing mad damage and people have actually got 1 billion damage using this bow right here. And overall, the damage in this bow is very OP. It's 450, which is insane. But anyways, those were the best bows in the game. Let me know in the comments down below right now, which bow is your favorite bow? Is it even on the list or is it not on the list? But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and guys, we're doing daily uploads. So make sure you guys subscribe with the notifications on and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.